Hi, welcome everyone to Mount Sinai South Nassau. Uh, we're here again for a very important watermark uh, in the reopening of the hospital. Uh, today we're welcoming back visitors to the hospital. Uh, that's going to be every day between 4 and 8 p.m. Uh, again, visitors are welcome now at Mount Sinai South Nassau. We just wanted to uh, uh, do a little uh, broadcast on this today because it is a very important turning point uh, as we reopen the hospital. We're here today again with Dr. Rob Sharma, who's our Chief Medical Officer. Uh, Dr. Sharma, I know that uh, we've spoken in the past uh, that there are numerous studies that show the importance of having visitors in the hospital. So visitation and having your loved ones with you while you're here is an important part of wellness and an important part of the healing process. So we are very thrilled to have visitors back uh, after all this time. And of course, during the COVID pandemic, the last three months, we haven't had any visitors allowed for the safety of the patients and the safety of the visitors. However, we have had virtual uh, visits, so we're going to continue that during the office. That's right. We have some exceptions for visitation. Right, um, beyond that, we have to do our Beyond that, we did not have visitation. The virtual visitation will continue. Uh, visiting hours will be from 4 to 8 p.m. And basically, we'll have one visitor during that time. And there will be no bit in the emergency room right now because we're still evaluating how to do that safely. And we also have a transitional care unit, which is part of the nursing home category, and they're not allowed to have visitors under the state guidelines. All right, good. So for the general public, it's uh, visiting hours, four hours per day, but it's got to be the same person. You can't do two hours one person and two hours somebody else, no, another family. No tag team visiting yet. No tag team <laughs> visiting, that's a good phrase, I like that. And when you come in, of course, the procedures are going to be much different. Right behind us, we have a lot of staff that's helping out as we get ready to reopen. Uh, it, it is going to be not like it was before. We have to register people, we have to get their contact information. Why are we doing this? Well, this is all required by the state to allow education for safety and to make sure we can protect patient staff and visitors uh, against COVID. So, uh, in case, for instance, there is another outbreak, we might have some contact people and let them know, right? That's correct. And that's one reason that we're asking people for their contact information. Uh, and there is going to be a procedure as you come to the hospital. It's not going to be like it was prior to COVID. We are pretty much the 24 hour visiting, and you were really just able to go to the front desk, get the room number, and go on up. It's going to be more uh, involved when you come in. And we should mention also, very importantly, you're going to need one of these. You're going to need a surgical mask, right? And that's the entire visit. Right? That's correct. And when you do visit, you are required to stay in the room of your, the patient that you're visiting. It's really not like you're walking around the building that the damage is to protect everyone. Um, and if you are visiting somebody on our behavioral health unit, your visiting hours are 6 to 8 p.m. for that specific Okay. So you got to have a mask. Bring a mask before you come. No tag team visiting. I like that phrase. No walking around the hospital, you've got to go right to the room, uh, stay in that room for as long as you want, up to four hours, between four and eight. And then you'll hear an announcement, I think, when visiting hours are over. Uh, so let's talk a little bit about uh, the sign up. Well, no requirement. you got to clean your hands before and after you go in the room. So try to keep everyone safe and hygiene at the front. Very important. So if you just want to see what's happening, you're going to come in, you're going to get the room number at the information desk, and then you're going to be directed over to one of these portable iPads where you're going to put your information in. You see we have lots of staff here to help you. Those iPads are going to be uh, disinfected in between each use. That's why we have a lot of folks here to help. Uh, and then after that, you're, you're on your way up to uh, up to visit your loved one. Um, Keep it good. Welcome back, everyone. Okay, we're very excited to have everyone back uh, visiting Mount Sinai South Nassau. We've missed you. Uh, welcome back. Thank you.